everybody and welcome to Dinners with Donna and um, I want, first want to start off with wishing all of you a very happy Memorial Day weekend. I'd like to especially thank all of our servicemen and women and their families for all of their service. Uh, my husband was a military member for over 20 years. Um, he proudly served. I was a proud military spouse. I'm a surviving spouse so Memorial Day means a lot to me. I've also had a lot of family members who served in the military. So thank you so much for all your service and happy Memorial Day. Um, today we are gonna be cooking with our air fryers. But before we start, I got some mail to go through and a few housekeeping things, but um, we'll do the mail first. Sound like a plan, Nicholas? Sounds like a plan. Hi, okay. everyone. <laughs> so um, I got this wonderful thank you card um, from Joey from It's Joey's World. Um, I sent him a birthday present and he hand wrote me a, a really sweet note to thank me and uh, Lisa, Keith and Joey, we love you so much and you didn't have to do that and every time I get mail from any of you, um, but especially Joey, it brightens my day because he has a special place in my heart. So Joey, I love you and thank you so much. And then I got this really nice card from our other good friend, Pete McDevitt, from the Pete McDevitt Show, uh, thanking me for being on the committee for the um, Badge of Honor series. So thank you, Pete and Preston. You guys rock. You are our chosen family. We love you. Thank you. And then I just received this in the mail last night. Um, I didn't get it till like after 6 o'clock at night, which is weird. But um, this is from PTV, and it's just a just because thinking of you card. And I love PTV so much. They're a great channel. Check them out. <coughs> they just love and they're kind and generous and they make me laugh and I love them very much. So thank you PTV for this beautiful, beautiful card. And then our friend SG88 Keys, Diane sent me the, uh, she, I met her in person at Epcot um, and she was so generous and gifted me, this is her CD guys, of her singing. She's incredible. So make sure, you know, you check her out. She's awesome. You'll see her sometimes in the chat. Uh, she's a great person, very kind and thank you, Diane. And then lastly, from our good friend, Brandy, Disney Up Boiler Up, she always sends me the most inspirational, sweet, uh, heartfelt cards and notes. And every time she sends them, it just makes me smile. And uh, it's just for no reason at all. She's just so sweet. Thank you so much, Brandy. And she also sent me something that we can use if we ever try to make blue milk again, the gel food coloring. So if we give blue milk a take two, we're right there. I think we will sometime for sure. So I'm gonna put these aside. Um, I'm gonna start by preheating my air fryer. And the first is a, a tip and a trick I'm gonna teach you about toasting. We're gonna to make a bagel, really simple. So I'm gonna put the air fryer on and I'm gonna turn it to air crisp. And I'm gonna put it on about four minutes and I'm gonna get it preheating. Uh, so it's preheating. So I'm gonna put these aside. So also for housekeeping, I just wanna first of all, thank my channel members. You guys, you know I love you. You mean the world to me. Uh, so Magic Mail is gonna be going out to you guys soon. So keep an eye out for it. And of course my moderators. They are the ones with the blue wrenches. They keep the chat family friendly and going. They can help answer questions and uh, they help me out a lot. So I love you guys, thank you. Okay, so, Nicholas. Hi. Have you ever used an air fryer? Um, no. No. <laughs> I've used a toaster oven many times, never okay. an air fryer. So, what an air fryer is, it's basically a portable convection oven that sits on your countertop. It cooks food relatively quickly. It gets air circulating around your food. So it's crispy on the outside and tender on the inside. Um, it does a lot of different things. Um, air fryers come in many different sizes from a small one quart 
which is perfect for you know a single person up to 16 quarts if you have a large family or a party tailgating all that kind of good stuff and there's tons of makes and models i own two i own the ninja foodie which is also a grill and then i also own the instant pot air fryer and it's a pressure cooker and an air fryer so I like to get more bang for my buck out of my air fryer, but that's basically what we've got here today. Now, also, there are like pull-out models with the pan basket. I started with one of those. I highly recommend starting, oh, Monorail Molly, thank you, and welcome to Apprentice Chef. Thank you, Nicholas. Um, I started with a two-core air fryer and I quickly learned that I needed a bigger one because I was using it all the time. But I suggest starting with an inexpensive model and making sure it's something that fits into your lifestyle and what you like, and then upgrading from there. Um, because these models can get a little pricey, but I knew I was gonna use them, that's why I invested in them. So anyhow, the little pull-out ones that kind of look cylindrical, and they come up and down. I'm going to try to pull a picture of one up on my phone. Let's see. Okay. Got a $25 super chat from CH. I was in that guy yesterday. Back in Indy today. You are the people's champ. CH, you are too kind. Thank you so much for your Good to see you and for your support. And my gosh, you're so kind. You never ever feel you have to do that. It's so appreciated. It helps pay for ingredients and all that. But you guys can always watch for free. I just love chatting with you and spending time with you. So thank you. Thank you so much. Okay, so we're preheated, Nicholas. So we just yes. need to turn for one second. So I already have my bagel. Um, okay, so this is this is a good bagel, Nicholas. Jeff's Bagel Run? Mm -hmm. This is from a local baker, Jeff's Bagel Run. Um, he's just getting ready in a few weeks, I think, to open his storefront, but he right now is baking out of his home. And um, it's artisan. It's the best bagels I've found so far down here in Florida. And uh, this was a special Mother's Day uh, bagel. It's Asiago on the front, but then it don't get weirded up in the inside. He made special colors for Mother's Day. So I got this in a Mother's Day basket. I had it in my freezer. I thawed it out, cut it in half, and now we're going to toast in our air fryer. That's our first thing we're going to do. So I preheated. It says add food right there. So we're adding our food. And now it's going to count down. Craig's Robotics said, Donna, the crew says hello. We're all listening to, learning to use the air fryer thing, thanks to you. Oh, Craig, I'm so glad. I hope I can give you guys lots of hints and tips today. So this is the traditional model like I'm, I was showing you. Uh, this is like a basic model. It pulls out. Um, you usually have to hand wash it, which takes a little bit of time. It's a little bit difficult to clean but if you have you know if you're not into spending a lot of money for your air fryer and my watch is talking to me sorry by the way yes. pete hello i'm calling you tomorrow okay pete nicholas is calling you tomorrow i am going to give you a call tomorrow i've not forgotten about you okay i've so, been so busy this basic model right here is um a good starter one and it um, is about, this one is probably like a four to six quart, and I'll get to that in just yep. a second. Um, but it ha you pull it out and the basket has to be hand washed because you can't put the whole mechanism into the dishwasher. Now some of them have an, a mechanism where the basket releases and you can put that in the dishwasher. So make sure you check with the manufacturer and make sure you know is the basket dishwasher safe or not? Because that's a big deal breaker sometimes. And we have a super chat from Nancy O. And it says, thank you for the stream and happy Memorial Day. Thank you so much, Nancy. 
That's so great. Thank you. By the way, how is everyone's audio? Because I can, if it's yeah. low. Can you all hear? Because I know the air fryers are a little bit loud. That's the other thing. If it's lower, I can manually increase it on here, which I actually forgot we had the power to do. Mm -hmm. I might be a little louder because I'm closer to the mic, but regardless, how does it sound? And Nancy, thank you so much, and happy Memorial Day to you as well. And we so appreciate that so much. Thank you. Um, so, yes. Sounds good. This is your basic model right here. They can see it already. Yep. Okay. And then you move into like these bigger models. Um, both of mine are eight quarts, so they hold a lot. Um, I would say it's good for up to a family of four and eight quart. Um, but mine, all the components pretty much are dishwasher safe, which I think is important, at least for me, because although Richie likes to do the dishes, I still, when I'm doing stuff on my own, I want to put it in the dishwasher and be done with it. So. It's really easy, and they have non-stick pans, which is nice. So we have a minute and 10 seconds left for a bagel. Now, how easy was that? To to I don't need a toaster anymore. I don't own a toaster anymore because I just make my toast and my bagels in here. It's, it's perfect. Can you toast the bagel on the one you just showed on the screen? Ah! <laughs> you answer that? What? Can you toast a bagel in the one you just showed on the, on the screen? Can I toast what? A bagel in the one you showed on your phone. Toast? Oh, in that one. You can toast in any air fryer. I'm sorry. I didn't understand the question. Yes, you can toast in any air fryer. Um, it doesn't matter what size, as long as it can accommodate, uh, because it bases, the cooking is based on air circulation. So you don't want your food crowded in these things. You want to make sure you have enough room for the air to circulate around your toast or your bagel. And um, yeah, you can, and, and the other thing you have to be leery of, each air fryer's timing is different. They You're all come up to temperature at different times and things. So you gotta keep an eye on it. If it's not done to like the speci recipe specified timing, adjust it. It should be fine. You're making pepperoni pizza egg rolls? I am. Ooh. All right, so our bagel's done. I mean, how easy was that? And look, it's perfectly toasted. You saw what it looked like before, and there it is all perfectly toasted. Four minutes, 390 in the Ninja Air Fryer. And um, it's ready to be cream cheesed or jammed or buttered or whatever you prefer, peanut butter, honey, any of that. Um, although this is an Asiago cheese bagel, so I wouldn't put peanut butter or honey or jam on that. Maybe cream cheese. Yeah, you know. Whatever. <laughs> But I just wanted to show you guys how versatile the air fryer is because this one alone can air crisp, it roasts, grills, bakes, broils, and dehydrates. So you can make jerky in here, you can make fruit leather in here, you can make like dried fruit chips um, or like apple chips, things like that, banana chips, all in your air fryer. It's great. So I'm gonna put this aside. You guys can nosh if you want to. That was the sacrificial bagel. Okay. So the next recipe we're going to work on, we're going to do dessert first. Yeah. <laughs> Top. Richie's noshing. <laughs> we're going to do dessert first. Yes. And we are going to make air fryer cheesecake chimichanga. Mmm. Yeah. Nick's noshing too, just so you know. <laughs> Okay, so, oh, also, I wanted to tell you guys, I don't know if you've all checked out my website, dinnerswithdonna.com, but you can find all these recipes there. Each week's show has its own tab, and you just click on it, and you'll find the recipes that we're making right there. And I even got today's up already, so it just doesn't have the pictures yet, because obviously we haven't finished making them, so. Did we do a chat check yet? We have not, but I thought I'd do that when we're getting these in the air fryer so we have a little bit of a break. Because now I've got to preheat the air fryer. It says to 360, so we're going to go over here, Nikki, and we're going to go to um, air crisp. We're going to lower our temperature to 360. Oops, there we go. And then it's going to cook. 
for eight to 10 minutes. So I'm gonna set it for nine and see where we get with it. And I'll check it when there's less than a minute left on there. And um, if it needs more, I'll adjust it at that time. So we're gonna hit start. Now, if it preheats before I'm ready for them to go in, I'll just lift the lid and we'll redo it. But we're gonna be back over here now. Are we back over here? Well, now we are. Okay. So I'm grabbing the ingredients. And as you can hear, the air fryer, this air fryer, I love it, but it's a little bit loud. So just be aware of that when you're um, cooking and, and choosing your air fryer. Noise can be a factor. Now I will say that my Instant Pot air fryer is a lot quieter. And I'm wondering if it's because this is the It is a little model. louder. It's not, bad. it's not bad, but it is a little louder. Well, when you hear the other one, you'll hear the difference. It's, this one's like super quiet, and this one's like little. <laughs> it's crazy. Mm. Okay. I'm just getting all my ingredients over here so I can work with you guys. Okay. If you guys so, haven't already, too, hit the like button. Three likes away from 100. Oh, well, thank you guys so much. See, it's already ready. I did that too soon, so I'm gonna turn that off. And then they'll be able to hear me anyway. Okay, so for our cheesecake chimichangas, we're gonna use eight ounces of softened cream cheese, a half a cup of powdered sugar, one large egg, or a quarter cup of egg substitute, that's what I use, um, one tablespoon of all-purpose flour, half a teaspoon, or to your liking of vanilla extract, four large flour tortillas, um, I'm using hard sense ones. I don't know why, well, it's what I've got. But I mean, with the sugar and all that, I don't know why it would make a difference. But I'm using the carb smart ones. And then um, one cup of cherry pie filling or pie filling of your choice. You can use apple, peach, strawberry, whatever you're fancy. And a teaspoon of ground cinnamon, um, granulated sugar, and that's to make the cinnamon sugar coating for the outside. Um, two tablespoons of, of butter melted. We're gonna get that ready. And olive oil spray. Now, one thing I'm gonna say is that I have the spray bottle I got, it's called Evo. And you put your olive oil or oil of choice in here. You can use canola, safflower, whatever you use. Um, but this is gonna be your best friend with the air fryer because you wanna spray any food really uh, a little bit with this olive oil uh, or uh, I can't believe it's not butter spray, anything like that before you put it in the air fryer. So I got that ready to go. Now, we're gonna take our cream cheese that I've had softening. We're gonna take our hand mixer and then we're gonna get it beaten until it's kind of fluffy. Let's see. These are like our rations. <laughs> Did you guys want butter or cream cheese? No. Okay. Not bad. All right. There's little cheese things on the top. <laughs> so, like I always say, start on the lower speed so you don't have cream cheese particles flying all over Nicholas and Richard in the kitchen. <laughs> Hi, Jerry. Um. Oh, Maybe. now's a good time for chat chat. We got. Oh, did I get you mid bite? I'm sorry. You're good. ALJ. Hi, ALJ. Amber E. Hi, Amber. Car key. Hi, Carol. Dad is Root TV One. Hey, Jerry. Debbie is here. Hi, Debbie. Denise. Well, hello. Disney World Freak. Hi. Diz Noah's Adventures. Hi, Noah. Francisco is here. Francisco. Glenn. Glenn. Happily Ever Yaddy is here. Hi, Yaddy. James is here. Janie B is here. Hello, hello. Jennifer Piccolo is here. Jen, hi. Jill. Hi, Jill. Katie is here. Hello, Katie. LSU Mom is here. Emily, it's so good to see you. Mary is here. Hi, Mary. Mike88NYC. Hey, Mike. 
Hi. Pamela V. Hi, Pam. Pete McDevitt. Pete, we love you. Thank you for your card. R. Johns. Who's that? Samantha Lowe. <laughs> Hi, Sam. Surf Bum. Hi, John. Surfer Girl. Cherie. Suzanne. Hi, Suzanne. The Hitchhiking Bones. Hi, Don and Will. Tiki Shannon. Hi, Shannon. Trisha is here. Hi, Trisha. Disney Steve. Hi, Disney Steve. He's coming to Florida very soon, actually. Ooh. Okay. So I'm going to turn this down. And now I'm going to add our half cup of powdered sugar. Yeah. Mix two of them by. Yeah. Just making sure I get it right. <laughs> Mike Wheeler is here. Mickey Travels is here. Hi, Mickey Travels. Always good to see you. R. Johns equals Richard. And Richard equals R. Johns. <laughs> Tasha Rogers is here. Hi, Tasha. JL is here. Hi, JL. Oh, this looks good, Nicholas. It looks like frosting. It kind of is like cream cheese frosting at this point, which is yummy, but that's not what we're making today. Okay. So you want to get your powdered sugar really well incorporated, which we're doing. It takes a little bit of time, but you know, good things are worth waiting for. Okay. So now, the excess we're on the cheesecake right now, you said? We are on the, yes, the chimichangas, the cherry cheesecake chimichangas. So now we're going to add our egg, which I've pre-measured out here. This is um, a quarter cup of egg beater egg substitute, um, but you can use a whole egg beaten, just make sure it's well beaten. And we have a tablespoon of flour, which I measured out. Herschel and I think it's Margie Lane, it's right? It's Margie. Hi, Margie. Margie, Margie is Welcome here. In. And then we're going to add our vanilla. There we go. Okay. Now, we're going to beat all this up. Did I add everything that needed to be added? We got the egg, the flour, and vanilla. We did. I got it all, guys. On the first try. Jay Grubbs is here. Hi, Jay Grubbs. Welcome in. Great to see you. Space Mountain Dave Cantrell. Hi, Dave. Welcome in. All of our friends. Oh, I love seeing all of you. It makes my day, really. Oh, see, now it's looking like cheesecake filling. You need the egg and everything to lighten it up. Otherwise, you just have cream cheese frosting, which is also delicious, but it's not going to go well in the chimichanga. Okay, now I've jacked up the spoon. Okay. This looks great. Hey, Andrew. Andrew. Welcome in. So good to Hi. see you. All right. There we go. You want to say hi? Come say hi. Okay. There he is. <laughs> okay, so here. He's take a look. It's safe. I use egg beaters. He's A. John's in the chat. A. John's, R. Who's John's. A. John's? We're going to get all the alphabet of John's. He said, hey, Dad. That's mm, awesome. Good. Cheesecakey, right? Cheesecakey. Yeah. Okay, so that was our first unofficial taste testing. Thank you. Okay. All right, so let's pump up the um, air fryer again, guys. Super CH. Hello, hello. My next, uh, my next stream is tomorrow morning tomorrow morning at 11. okay we're gonna reheat up our air fryer and i think it heated up more quickly than normal because i had just toasted the bagel so it was already warm so all right let's get everything out of our way and this is the fun and easy part kathleen says she loves your blouse Oh, thank you, Kathleen. I appreciate that. 
Okay, so it says to use four. So we're going to use four. one, two. Look at this. One of them's like so much bigger than the other. Isn't are that those, weird? Are those tacos? Yeah, it's strange, huh? Two. What is that called? Hmm? What are those called? Uh, these are called flour tortillas. Oh, yeah, they're like. Oh, they're carb smart. Um, you let me use those for tacos. Yeah, you use them for tacos, fajitas, um, burritos. They're tortilla wraps. These are carb balanced, but since we're making a dessert, it's kind of a moot point. I mean, use whatever ones you want to. Just don't use like spinach or, you know, tomato flavored or anything like that. That would not be good for the cheesecake. All right. So, we're going to get our stuff ready here. I am, Pamela, feelings. thank you. I am. Very, uh... Very exciting. Okay. It says to add food already, so I'm just going to leave it um, open. And it'll say add food for a while. Hopefully it doesn't go off. So we're going to put a fourth of the cheesecake filling. Could you air fry those donuts? Could I air fry what? Those donuts. Well, we could, but the sugar would melt off. Oh. Them. You can make air fry your donuts, but I mean, you can't with the frosting. Oh. I'll take you have the to frost them later. Kevin, what's up? I was trying to know if you could use crepes. I, I bet you could, but I don't know um, if the crepe would hold up to the to the cheesecake filling because it's um, a thicker filling. So now what we're doing, Nikki? Hi. So I kind of want to go in on this so they can see how we fold yes. them. So we put our um, filling in, right? And we're going to go like this and fold over and make a little set. I think I filled that one too much, but that's all right. Okay. Extra juicy. All right, so we'll go like that. Get our cherry filling. And then you want to wrap it as tightly as you can. This is really messy, but that's okay. We'll work with it. Okay. And then we'll go in like that. I just want to make a nice little package. We're going to put them seam side down in our air fryer. And try not to let it spread out. Get it down the center of your tortilla. Any 4th of July plans? Um, no, I don't have any. Probably I will grill something. I usually do on 4th of July. But that's probably With it. a Blackstone? I wish I had a Blackstone. How much do those run for, give or take? The one I want is $600. Not terrible. Oh, we're still looking down there. I'm going to make a new one because that one came up really messy. I'm not seeing that one. We'll redo that one. I think I put too much filling. And that's the thing, don't put too much filling because then you won't be able to close your tortilla. Okay, right down the middle. Cherries in there. I'm gonna be back in two seconds, but I'm leaving it here so they can see everything. Okay, there we go, that's much better. Now, I am going to spray the tops of the um, chimichangas with this I can't leave the butter spray. Right. 
There we go. That's gonna be there for nine minutes and I'm gonna clean up just a little bit and I'll be right back. sprinkle and I've got a prepared pan with a wrap. Um, what I did was I took a baking sheet, lined it with foil, and put a wrap on it so that when the chimichangas come out I'll put them on this wrap and then we will baste them with the butter, sprinkle them with cinnamon sugar, and they should be delicious. Now like some of these may have been built too much um, that's why I said be careful with how much you fill them, um, and it's based on your tortilla size as well. Um, maybe I should have gotten larger tortillas. I'm not sure, but it worked out just fine. They're asking if there was, if they're asking if there's a way to see the food in the air fryer. Yeah, we can take a break and look. I mean, we can't see it while it's cooking, but I can lift the lid. We, I guess we can lift it for a second. Watch out for this. Yes. Starting to get there. Mm -hmm. I'll see how much butter. Yeah, the butter's almost all melted. I'm gonna put it in for about 20 seconds more. said Jaworski sounds like a Polish surname. It certainly is. My husband was Polish and um, he came from a family of over 600. <laughs> Jazza family, hi, hi. Hi, Jazza family. Okay, so guys, we're gonna melt it butter right here that we're gonna brush the tops of the chimichangas with. And then our cinnamon sugar sprinkle. I'm going to get a spoon to sprinkle the chimichangas with. All right. So now, does anyone have any uh, questions or anything so far um, about the air fryer or anything that I've done so far? Um, anything that I did that you didn't quite get or anything like that, just let me know and I'll be happy to answer for you. Jennifer Pickle wants to know if you ever tried freezing the cheesecake filling into bars and then wrapping them to fry. Now see, this is my first time making these, Jen. So that's a very good tip, actually, because I think if the uh, cheesecake filling had been chilled, it probably wouldn't have spread like it did. So I think you're absolutely right. Excellent tip there. Thank you. And 
I think the next thing we'll make will be, all right, I'll let you guys choose. Do you want to make air fryer fries first? Or do you want to make, you're not going to like the second one. I know what you're going to say. What am I going to say? The Brussels sprouts. Uh-huh. <laughs> I'm not going to have the Brussels sprouts. Chat, yeah. you vote. Because I know Nicholas's choice. Tasha wants to know things go away. And if you want to stay in the chat, and you, oh, if oh. you, okay. and if you want to stay in the chat and not get hidden, vote wisely. Oh, stop it, Nicholas. Um, yeah, Tasha. Anything. The only thing I've made that hasn't turned out is if I put too much time on something, and it like a mozzarella is stuffed something or anything with a stuffing, and it ex like explodes because I put it on too long. Um, it's kind of trial and error, but don't be afraid because you know. Even if it looks funny, it still tastes good and it's edible. Just, you know, don't everyone, put it out for the party. Everyone has said fries, but three people. Okay. We will make the fries next then. Um, I will say that I, um, you have to do those ahead of time because you want to drain out the starch. So I peeled the potatoes. I've got them soaking. I'll show you. In cold water, you do not want warm water. Always, always with a raw potato cold. So um, you want your cold potatoes. Like when you're making mashed potatoes, never ever start with room temperature water. It has to be farthest. ice cold. And um, we're gonna put them in um, cold water. Let them soak for at least a half an hour, preferably an hour or longer, uh, to get the excess starch out. And then we're going to have to pack them really dry. So I'm going to start that because by the time the chimichangas come out, I'll have dried some fries to go. You know what we should have done? We should have gotten fries from like McDonald's or something. Or Disney <laughs> well, fries. Won't there. I know they won't. But. Or Disney fries. I could have gone to Cosmic Rays. Okay. So I'm going to line a um, paper plate. With paper towels. Oh, hi guys. Hi. Am I so coming over? Where plate. are you staying over there for a little no, bit? No, I'm just training. I'm okay. just lining with paper towels to dry some fries to. Um, Nikki Travel says the Lasellier has the best Brussels sprouts. I love Brussels sprouts. Okay. I'm gonna use more paper towels to. Uh, get all the excess water and moisture out of the fries. And we're going to probably have to do another batch meeting after the show ends. Definitely want to get all of that water and moisture out because just like if you deep fry uh, fries that were wet, once it hits that oil, you'll get all kinds of popping and not good. So you want to get as dry as you possibly can. We have about 42 seconds on the cheesecake. Yeah. Oh, let's check them and make sure they're going to be done. Yeah, they look about right. Oh, so I, I did it. Oh, you're, you're slow to it. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I'm going to get another bowl really quick for the fries. Okay, so I just got my Ninja uh, Foodie Air Fryer Grill in April. Um, I upgraded from the same model, uh, the same make, but the smaller model. So I went from a six quart to an eight quart. And Nicholas, we're, we're over here. We are. <laughs> I need a spatula. Okay, I'm just going to get these out. Okay, Richard, I'm going to need your help because the fries need to be made in that air fryer, but morning. That is super duper hot, but I'm gonna need it cleaned out. I'm sorry. 
Okay, Nicholas. So, look at these beautiful chimichangas. With a little, only this, this is the only filling that came out actually. Like but aren't they beautiful? So we're gonna take our melted butter and brush it liberally all over the chimichangas. JL, JL wants to know if you guys are getting the new app, if you're getting the new Apple TV remote. Oh, we did. I think we did. Yeah, we did. Is there a new remote? We got the new Apple TV and the new remote. Is there a new Apple TV? Oh. I didn't know we got the new one. So sprinkle with um, surprise cinnamon sugar. And you know, I'm feeling fancy today, so I'm going to flip them over and do the other side as well because I like everything cinnamon and sugar. And look, see how the seam, not hardly any, that's where the explosion happened. But not bad, right? And it's so crispy. Brush all that butter on here. And get more cinnamon sugar, then we'll flip them over, and if we need to, reapply cinnamon No sugar. worries, Debbie. Now, we're going to let these cool because if we were to try to eat these now, then it would, it would burn you. So we're gonna what was the one thing you made that burned me? I was actually burned for days after that. My tongue was burned. What was it? It was, um... It was one of your past streams, wasn't it? What was the one you did before Memorial Day? Um, you did Star Wars. Yeah. Before that. What was the one before that? I can check on my phone. Let me see. Right there was something that was extremely hot. Okay, so these are really pretty. And I'll we'll just keep going with the cinnamon and sugar. Be liberal. Because the uh, melted butter will soak it in. You're looking like you know what exactly what it is. You right? were cooking with the Instant Pot. And you oh, made this. Oh, a cheeseburger. Um, pasta. Pasta. Mm -hmm. That burned my tongue for like five days. Oh, I'm sorry. It was, I didn't know, it was, I didn't expect it to be that hot. So I think it's, I think it's good to let things cool from now on. Yeah, we're going to let these cool now. And I'm going to start getting, uh, I'm going to put these aside. We'll try them in a little while. We'll Welcome to them. all of our new friends joining us. Oh, welcome in everybody. So good to see all of you. It's so great to see everyone. But while um, we make the fries, we can, um, what do you call it? Try the chimichanga. Does that sound like a plan? Sounds like a plan. Okay. They're saying Richie is the best dishwasher ever. He is. Okay. You should just have a stream on dishwashing. Like you don't make anything. Or you make everything before the stream, and you just dishwash everything. Wash me dishwash dishes. There you go. Okay. Wash your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands. Okay. So, um... What we're going to do now is we are going to um, oil and season our fries. And then first I'm going to preheat the um, air fryer. I believe it goes to 100, but let me just double check my recipe. Now, another important thing is if your uh, air fryer has a preset for fries, that's usually for frozen french fries. So don't use that for homemade fries because it's a whole different thing. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then you're making a steak. Mm -hmm. All right, sorry guys, I've got to look my temperature up because I don't want to do it. Egg well. rolls, sprouts, fries, steak, four things, right? Five, yeah. chimichangas. Five total, yep. Okay, we are going to 390. I wanted to make sure. Temperature increase to 375. <laughs> okay, so we're going to air press 390, and they are going to cook for about 
20 minutes, I would say, and you have to shake them halfway through. So um, we will start it at 20 at 390, air crisp setting. Hit start, let everything preheat, and we're gonna season our fries. Now you can see season your fries. Yeah, they can see you. <laughs> oh, they can? Okay. I I'll move know. it a little more, but they, they were able to okay. see you. Um, I didn't know you had the white thingy on. Anyway, you can season your fries any way you want to. I'm gonna spray mine with some olive oil spray, which is just olive oil in the spray bottle. I did about 10 squirts, which is about two teaspoons total. And now you can put um, garlic and parmesan and all that stuff if you wanted to. I'm just going to do salt and pepper and do a basic fry. Be generous with your salt with potatoes. They tend to need a lot of salt. Also put garlic, rosemary, um, smokehouse seasoning steak, uh, like Montreal steak seasoning. Anything like that would be amazing. I'm gonna get a um, food stick plug and take my hand. I like the feel. I like to feel where the seasoning is going, and make sure that the fries are evenly coated. That's why I did it this way. So this is just a basic fry. Um, if I was making them, probably uh, for like Richard and Sam and me, I'd probably put after they come out. I put a, just a little, little bit more olive oil and just some um, garlic and um, Parmesan cheese, maybe, and maybe a little bit of rosemary. Okay, and as you can see, I hope, um, the Jennifer. fries are evenly coated with oil, and that's to prevent sticking, and it also promotes browning. Uh, that's why you need the olive oil, because if you didn't put the oil on top or the butter spray or whatever you use, um, they won't brown. So you, you, if you want something nice and golden brown, you got to spray it with the oil. But the benefit of using your air fryer is you use a fraction of the oil, you're not deep frying. Um, I used like two teaspoons of olive oil for this whole thing, so not bad. How's our chat doing? Jennifer Pickle said, so she soaked the fries, drain them, then pat them dry? Yes, soak fries, drain fries, pat dry really well with paper towels, then oil and season to taste. But I think I think you're gonna like. Have you ever had air fryer fries? Oh, you're in for a treat. They're really good. Oh, it says add food, so we're gonna add our food, guys. Wow, they're already sizzling. Another thing I want to tell you is you, you may have to do your fries in batches. I'm going to do more batches later. Um, but as you can see, I have a few left over because you want to keep them in a single layer, again, so the air can circulate and brown them and crisp them like they're supposed to be. So here we go. Richie, where's your While those are cooking, we have 20 minutes, so we're gonna start on our Brussels sprouts. So I'll go and get the ingredients for those. The best part of the day. They're so delicious, I don't know what's wrong with you. More for you two to enjoy. Mm. Okay, so this is super simple. Um, I make these a lot for Richard and I. We love Brussels sprouts. Sam doesn't love Brussels sprouts, but I do. Um, I just get the pre-washed and um, cut Brussels sprouts, so these are already halved. I'm dumping them in a bowl. 
I'm going to spray them with olive oil and salt and pepper. Well, hello, welcome in. Good to see you, Todd. Okay, so it's probably about a teaspoon of oil that I use. And, you know, that was one of the reasons, um, there were two reasons I first got in there prior to years ago. One was to use less oil. And the second was to save time because it does things so quickly. Um, it's really, I love it. All right, salt and pepper. I'm just going to keep the salt over here. And I'm going to get um, a spoon to mix these up. Just so we can put the Brussels sprouts evenly. And Nicholas, we're going to go to the other um, air fryer. The other one. So we're going to be using our instant pot one now. We're going to plug it in. You have all these. You've got pressure cook, saute, slow cook, steam, sous vide, which is really cool. Air fry, roast, bake, broil, or dehydrate. We are going to air fry. And we're going to go at 400. I'm going to do it for nine minutes and see how we do. And then we're going to hit start. So now it's not preheating. So I'm going to say we put the food in now. See, some of them you have to preheat. I don't think with the Instant Pot one, we have to preheat. So we're going to dump these right in. So the Brussels sprouts are coming on over. And I'm going to dump that in. Okay. And it'll just cook them. Oh, no worries, Brandy. I showed um, your card at the uh, food color you said, so thank you. Thank you so much for thinking of us. Okay, so while that's cooking, now normally for this recipe, um, you would roast your Brussels sprouts on a sheet pan in a preheated 400 degree oven about 20 minutes or so. Um, what we're doing now is we're gonna air fry them today and that's where it diverts from the recipe, the original recipe. So we're doing it at like 400 degrees for about 10 minutes, which is half the time of the oven in our air fryer. But over here, we're going to uh, take a little bit of olive oil for our pan, and we're gonna heat it over medium high heat. And then, We've got in our little saucepan, this is going to make the balsamic uh, reduction that's going to go over them. So this is about um, a third of a cup of balsamic vinegar. We want to bring it to a boil, so that's going to go on high. So you have medium high over here, high over here. This is going to bring to a boil. And um, once our frying pan gets hot enough, I chopped up um one small sweet onion and then we have bacon that i already cooked and crumbled i used about eight slices so that's that and that will all be going in and getting tossed with our brussels sprouts it's going to be so yummy having a great Memorial Day weekend so far. And um, anyone got any big plans? Tell us in the chat. It's supposed to rain here, so not much going on. Question for the chimichangas. Can you bake those if you don't have an air fryer? Absolutely you could. I would bake them at about 375 for about 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown. Just make sure that they don't um, explode. Watch them so they don't, um, you know, the filling doesn't come out. There we go. Okay. JL says he's watching Fantastic Mr. Fox. Ooh, that's awesome. Okay, guys. So, 
How do you get rid of the bitter taste in the Brussels sprouts? Um, that's where, for me anyway, the balsamic reduction comes in and the bacon. It kind of cuts all the Brussels sproutiness down. Um, you could also try soaking your Brussels sprouts a little bit before you cook them, but drain them really well when you want it, when you air fry them. Jennifer's plan is to start packing for Walt Disney World tomorrow. Oh, that's awesome, Jen. I can't wait to see you. Okay. You ready to try one of these? Yes. And Ale Alyssa and Neil are here, by the way. Hi, Alyssa and Neil. Welcome in. I should say aloha. Aloha. Okay. I gotta take a picture. And then I'll cut it in half. And we'll see what the inside looks like. And then we'll taste. How's that sound? Sounds good. Okay. Oh, someone want to grab the patties? I can do that. More rich you can. Okay, guys. Moment of truth here. And what a nice, simple dessert this is. Oh, look at that. Okay. Ooh. There you go, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Take a picture of the inside. Sebastian the Crab. Happy early birthday. Well, her plan, her Happy birthday, birthday is tomorrow, Ooh. and my plan is to not cook. Well, I don't blame you. I'm actually going to be cooking on my birthday because it's a regular stream day, but I've got some news for you guys. Let me know if you want news, because I can give Do you I news. Do I know this news? Um, if, again. Oh, this one. Huh? Okay. Do you know this news, Richie? Did we pull a fuse? Cause this went like totally dead. Okay. <laughs> they said. <laughs> well, that one went off too. Oh yeah, we must have blown a fuse. Oh boy. I guess we can't have two air fryers going at once. No privacy at all, Rams. I know what you might have done. Hold on. Okay. Never mind. What happened over there? That one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Henry, he did it again. <laughs> Every time he has company over, he blows a fuse. And guess who always has to change it? <laughs> so I guess we can't have more than one going at once. Is that the thing? It went for a little while. Well, I don't want to move it because it's hot, but we'll, we'll figure it out. Let's do our it, taste It test. went for a little while. Let's do our taste they test. They all want then. you to break the news. Okay. That I don't know of. <laughs> so the big news is that for my birthday stream, um, normally I wouldn't stream on my birthday. However, it fell on a normal stream day. I'm like, what can I do uh, to do something extra special and, and hopefully do That's something right. good and pay it forward. So we are going to be doing my favorite birthday meal, including my favorite birthday cake from childhood. And all the proceeds that day are going to give to oh. mm -hmm. I'm so excited, I cannot wait. So yeah, I hope you all join me that day, July 25th. So I'm giving y'all plenty of notice, so. Yay. Oh. Is that Mickle Crunch or might be Crunch? Mickle. My eyes are so bad, guys. I'm I think sorry. Mickle. Is it Mickle Crunch? If I'm saying your name wrong, I'm so sorry. It says, can't wait for the result. Well, thank you so much. We're about to try these chimichangas right now. Um, Timothy Rainwaters, hi. Hi, Timothy. Okay, come on over here, Nicholas. Well, I have to recharge the computer. I will go in. Mm. Is it hot? Mmm. Mm -hmm. Is that whole piece mine? Mm-hmm. Oh my gosh, it's so good. It's not gonna burn you at all. Mm. Mm-hmm. You have a napkin? Mm-hmm. Or a paper towel, whatever it works. Mm. Where's my rings? 
Okay. Simba too, hi. You guys saw how easy those cheesecake chimichangas were, right? This would be perfect for like Cinco de Mayo or Taco Tuesday dessert. I would make these any day. I, I think they're great. That's just my personal opinion. We'll wait on Nicholas. Um, oh, I was gonna say too. I know what I was gonna say. Your birthday, do you know what your birthday is for me? It's a special day. That doesn't look That's, good. Is that the day you moved? That would be two years. Yes. I moved on July 25th, 2019. I'm just going to make the onions in the pan because the pan got hot. <laughs> so your birthday is the day I moved here. That's awesome. Okay. Back when you were just a little kid. That was, yeah, 2019. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, and we got a beat. Happy. It was happy. <laughs> yep. Good. It was very good. I would eat these any day. Really good. Now, if you aren't counting carbs, because I use the carb scent, you could easily, um, you could easily use Splenda or Swerve sweetener instead of the regular sugar, and um, you could use sugar-free or no sugar added pie filling. So there's a tip for you. Oh, Mickey Travels, you're so sweet for being such a good person and always doing the right thing for the right reasons. I love you guys so much. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mickey Travels. We love you guys. I'm gonna feed you. All right. So Nicholas. Hi. Um, check this out. See how brown they're getting? These are good things? And I think this is a good time. I don't know where my tongs went, but I'll get more. I stir my onion. And the one with cheese a little bit. I'm just gonna move the fries, and this is important. About halfway through cooking your fries, you want to kind of jiggle them around, shake the basket if it has the handle. This does not have the handle, so we're gonna use our tongs. But look how golden brown they're getting. They look beautiful, don't they, Nicola? They do. Mm -hmm. Okay. And you want them in a single layer if possible. So try to, you know, we'll try to spread them out. There we go. Okay. Perfect. And now I'm going to add the crumbled chopped bacon to the onions that are sauteing. this time. Uh, my advice is maybe don't have two air fryers going at the same time, but you know me, I'm kind of weird and wild. <laughs> or not in the same area, yeah. the same circuit. Maybe if I had it in the other area. I was trying to make it so that we didn't have to move around too terribly much. Let's see. And you want your, um, your onions to be a little bit thick. It's not quite there yet. So we're good. And I'm going to move the, yep, I'm move the chimichangas. We still have three left though, but I'll put them over here so you guys can want to see. And I'm just going to check something. Okay. 
you know it's getting hot. I just turned the air conditioning back on, guys, because that was really hot. And you don't want your balsamic vinegar to um, burn, so just make sure you like kind of give it a little judge or a little stir. I use a silicone um, little spoon that I have that I love. Um, it's also good for um, determining, you know, if it coats the spoon, you know that your glaze is where you want it. One thing about the Instant Pot air fryer that I did not know until we lost, uh, we blew the fuse, is that it picked right up, when I hit on again, it picked right up where we left off with the time and temperature and everything. So I didn't have to reprogram it. It, it was from where we left off, so we're good. This is the new Apple TV remote. <laughs> Richie sent over. Mm, those are almost done. You you can increase the time with the remote. <laughs> okay. Janet versus Donna, we try those Brussels sprouts just because of the balsamic reduction. Yeah. I normally only eat them shaved with citrus vinaigrette. Oh, I love them that way too. So good. Okay. And one mistake, I will say the first time I made this recipe, I was afraid when the balsamic vinegar was boiling, but you gotta continue to boil it so it reduces. So don't be afraid to let it keep boiling. Don't reduce your heat. You gotta keep it at that hot point so that it stays boiling or it won't reduce. It'll just be sheer liquid and it won't thicken up for you and turn into a nice glaze. This is really turned out nicely. Hello. I'm sorry. To infinity and beyond. Oh, hi to infinity and beyond. Welcome in. This is great. We have so many wonderful friends here today. I know you guys have a lot of choices and it's Memorial Day weekend and the fact that you guys are choosing to spend some time with me, it really makes me so happy. Thank you so much. I really appreciate all of you for being here. Now we're Oh, okay. So um, I suffer from um, hypoglycemia, which is low blood sugars. And in 2018, my sugars got so low, and I didn't know. And I passed out on the floor in my kitchen on the tile and broke my shoulder. And after that, that's when my doctor said, you need to wear this thing and monitor yourself. Um, I'm not officially a diabetic or anything like that, but because my sugars do drop suddenly, um, and really low, um, I have to wear a monitor. So, no big deal. UK Disney Keith and Mandy say hi Donna, Richie, Nick, and Sam. Hi Keith and Mandy. Happy Welcome Sunday you. Memorial Day. You are an amazing cook, Donna. We love watching your streams. Oh, thank you. Okay, this is perfect. Yes, hit the like button if you've not already. Okay, so Nicholas. Hi. I want to show everybody, can they see this? Where we're at. See how it's coating the spoon? It's kind of turned into like a balsamic syrup or like a bottled balsamic glaze, but we've made it ourselves. Look at that, and it's a lot cheaper doing it this way. So, we've got this ready to go. Let's check our Brussels sprouts. Ooh, they look pretty much almost done. Richie, I'm gonna, do you wanna try a Brussels sprout and tell me if you think it's done? are probably going to be true to time. And now Nicholas, Hi. the moment you waited for, fries. Are we going to dip them in something? We could, but I want to try the, the like, you know, pure fry first, and then I'll get like, sauce. Do you use, what do you use? 
ketchup, ranch. Yeah, ketchup, ranch, anything like that. So you want to show them what they look like coming out? Sure. Ooh. Hi, Sandy. There we go. Don't they look great? Now, you can even hear the crisp on the outside. We'll plate them. We're going to let them cool, because if you ate them now, you wouldn't be very happy. Well, we want to be happy while eating the fries. Yeah, yeah. happy fries. Happy little fries. Okay. okay. Oops. All right, so I'm going to take a picture. And actually, because the fries just had olive oil and salt and pepper, we're good for the next recipe. We don't need to clean that up again right now. Um, this is also the point you could put a uh, sprinkle of sprinkling of Parmesan cheese, some rosemary and garlic if you so desired. Um, I'm leaving them plain just for today because we have a lot of different palettes, um, but we should be good. I'm gonna put it And did you say ketchup in the glass? Whatever you. Know, we've got ketchup, we've got ranch, we've got Thousand Island. Well, do you guys want to try it with something? I'm going to try it without. But I mean. Just I think without, without. It's fine. We can get ketchup too. We can do one, one in one. We can try one sure, without. Sure, why not? Okay. Why not? Yeah. Or would you rather have ranch? Like, if you, what was your go to? Ketchup. Usually you use ketchup. Okay. Bobby says ketchup will ruin those fries. <laughs> well, we'll try one with one without. Yeah. It's like I say, always go with what your preference is. You know, what we like might not be what you like. So, like I said, if I was making these fries, I would probably drizzle a little more olive oil on them, sprinkle it with Parmesan cheese, garlic, and a little rosemary. That's how I like my fries. In and out fries. Kind of like a Primo Piatto. <laughs> you should have got those fries. <laughs> Okay, so this is ready. Although they wouldn't let us in. It's like Fort Knox over there. Oh my gosh. That was horrible. So guys, I have a story. Um, back in February for Samantha's birthday, we were staying at the Riviera and Nicholas was coming to have dinner with us. And I gave him our room number and everything for when he pulled in to the Riviera. And, well, I'll let Nicholas, since it was yeah, his thing, so tell him the rest. Usually, if you, like, you can't go into a resort for no reason. You either need to have a dining reservation or be, have an activity there or know someone staying there. You can't just pull up and be like, hi, I'm here just to park. Like, you can't do that. So I pulled up. I said, hi, I'm visiting my friends, blah, 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 in this room. We're going to dinner. And he said, well, are you on the reservation? Which I said, no, I'm not. But I said, I'm, they're my friends and I'm visiting them. And he said, well, I can't let you in unless they approve you coming. And I said, well, what do you want, like a written message? And he said, no. He said, they, if, you're not, if your name is nowhere on the reservation, they need to call the front desk. And the front desk will notify me and then I can let you in. So I, he said, pull up in the median, which was whatever. Which was like in the middle of the thing. Yeah. <laughs> and. This crazy town. You guys called, and then he asked like for my name, and it was this whole big thing. I swear you would think I was like entering Area 51. <laughs> but finally he let me in, but still I was like, I was entering Area 51. That was insane. I'll never forget that. And that's why I'm not staying there anymore. Because if I have a friend, or family member or anyone visiting, they, they really even all the time. But it wasn't that day. They're always like that to Riviera. They are. Yeah. There's resorts where you can say, "Hi, I'm going." You can say, I'm "I have a lunch so reservation at Whispering Canyon." They'll say, "Okay, go ahead." Mm-hmm. They will. There's no they do not care because you can't pull in just for no reason. You can't. Like that's not allowed. Okay. We know that we don't pull in a resort for no reason. But, yeah. And I even gave you my room number. Oh, I, I gave you like, everything. I was like, what in the world? It was just crazy. Fry time. 
How's your new job going? It's going good so far. So far, so good. Safari, so good. Safari, so good. And no, I'm not a safari driver. Why not? Because that wasn't an option, for me, unfortunately. That wasn't wasn't what I am doing. Perfect time in the bathroom. Wow. Hmm. I am at Disney Springs. Oh. Your source of inspiration at Walt Disney World. I need a new marker. Do you have new markers? Yes, in that box right there. Yeah, because my marker is bad. It's all faded. Here, get rid of that one. There we go. I'm okay. Who's ready? Well, I'm almost. Okay. Three, two, one. Mine says 9.5. Take that, Jeff. <laughs> He's not the only one that can do half points. The only reason I didn't give it a 10, I, for me, think it needed a little more olive oil. I probably should have sprayed it maybe two more times. I liked it with the ketchup. Like, it's good without the ketchup, but the ketchup made it better, I thought. Mm -hmm. I like it both It's so ways. good. Yep. Did you take pictures? Mm-hmm. Okay. okay, guys, you can have them. Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Check on the Brussels sprouts, guys. Okay, Richie, these look done now. Because if they go any more, you tell me what you think. Oh, they do it for extra security. Like, I get the extra security part of it, but. Yeah, they're good. Yeah. That took maybe 10 minutes, and, you know. Um, the, love. the thing about the security, which I don't get it is that if I really wanted to get into the Riviera, I could have parked at Hollywood and the Skyline and over. Uh -huh. Or parked at Disney Springs and bust over. Okay guys, so we're going to take our Brussels sprouts, which are now finished. And the air fryer gives them a little bit of a crisp. And we're gonna start it in them in with our onions and bacon. Get everything all together. And this is such a simple, simple, simple recipe. I love it. And now we're going to take our balsamic glaze and put that over the top. I don't share what exactly I do at Disney Springs. And I can't share a specific location because I'm not at one set location, but um, all I can say is Disney Springs. And it's not the balloon rock. No, it's not the balloon. Okay. And now, our Brussels sprouts are done. Much to Nicholas's chagrin. <laughs> I'm gonna plate them up and then Richie and I will try them because no one else here will eat them. You guys can guess, I'm just not gonna confirm or deny anything. I will not say for sure. What's the cheese for? The pepperoni egg rolls. Is that next? Mm -hmm. That's the last thing, right? No, we have the um, steak. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are our beautiful balsamic bacon 
Brussels sprouts from the air fryer, and I need to, I don't like how the plate is dirty, but the glaze stuff. It's like my plate to look good. Okay, there we go. No, no, this way. There we go. Jennifer, he can't see your comments, so <laughs> we don't have to tell him. Okay. Ready? You know, be careful, though, we have a little warm. I think so. Well, I don't get some bacon. Mm. They're actually perfectly cooked. I think. Hot, but good. I want more. The balsamic gives it, it really mellows out the Brussels sprouts. Yes. It makes it almost sweet. It's better than when you put it in the oven. I'll make them this way from now on. And this was a converted recipe. And that's the thing. Anything you make in the oven, you can make in your air fryer, pretty much. Are we doing it right? Mm-hmm. They will rate. I don't know what my pad will like. I don't know where your pad is. Um. I don't know, my pen's missing. I'm sure it's Is missing. it right here? No, let me know, it's fine. We'll find it. This is my pen. How'd it get back in there? Yeah. Maybe you threw it in there. Um, but when I made them with this recipe, that's when I started really liking them again. Mm -hmm. And I really think I'm going to make them in the air fryer. They come out even better than when I make them in the oven. So I would definitely make them that way. Uh, it was 400 at the air fryer. Um, I put it on the air press for approximately 15 to 20 minutes. Be sure to check because you don't want to burn your house stuff because they will become bitter. So just make sure you check. Yay! 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 Okay. Don't need them all. Oh. So now we're going to make our pepperoni egg rolls. Yes. Mm -hmm. Are you making them the same way as the other ones? Like yes. Is it the same exact egg roll? Uh -huh. Yep. Oh, I, those, were, those were good. She had me both. So they're gonna have that same crunch. They should. Remember we made them. Yeah. They were good. Oh. That's why I Make them. me my own plate, and then they can each get one. I, they I those were good. Oh. Thank you. Thank you. Heat it to in just a second. We are preheating the air fryer to 350. And air press. I'm going to do 360 just because I know just air fryer. And just yeah, I know. 
You know how I am. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of cornstarch. We're just making a little paste. It's like a glue to hold your egg rolls together. So we're gonna put a little bit of water and I'm gonna sneak in there and get just a touch of water with you. Are you done? Yes. Okay. I'm going to mix it with a fork. And we need more water because it's going to be a little And look how, ooh, Brussels sprouts are so good, Richard's still eating them. So happy birthday. Okay, so now you got egg roll. This is so simple. Egg roll wrappers, pepperoni. I use turkey. And uh, you can use, I usually use mozzarella provolone shredded mix. Um, but this time I just mixed shredded mozzarella and shredded parmesan that I got. So you can use really whatever you want. But easy peasy. John says thank you. You are most welcome, John. I hope you have a wonderful birthday. Okay. Oops. Okay. This is going to be so simple, guys. I mean, honestly. All right. So we're going to take our egg roll wrapper. I'm going to get a food safe uh, glove because we're going to put our hands in the glue. Hey John, yes it is. Hey, hey. We left one fry in there. Oh. One lonely fry. Oh. That's probably crispy. It's hot. It's okay. I'm a little cool for <laughs> Okay. So I like to do this when I'm either breading or using, um, you know, cooking with raw meat uh, that I have to touch um, when I'm making meatloaf. Um, or in this case where we're making these egg rolls and we need to get the glue onto the glue onto the egg roll wrapper to seal it. Just so you don't have to wash your hands a million times because for me, my hands dry out a lot when I wash them a lot. So anytime I can save clean up and stuff like that, it helps. So um, this couldn't be any simpler, guys. <laughs> I'm gonna put that I there. Barely, I can barely see. We're gonna put Eagle about water. six to eight pieces of the turkey pepperoni. Um, make sure you leave a border around. And yeah, that's about six, seven. And then <laughs> sprinkle with some cheese. And I use, like I said, I mix some shredded mozzarella with some shredded Parmesan. And now all we're gonna do is use our glue. Jerry's like, woohoo, Sam. Mm -hmm. Woohoo, Jerry. Mm -hmm. Woo. Okay. Nicholas, can they see this? Or should we zoom in while I'm rolling yep. it? We can see it now. Oh, great. Can you, don't so read now. this out loud, but read that for a second. Okay. Okay, so now how I, how I do these is you do the sides first, so roll that first. Now we're going to go tightly, 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 and I said tightly, and do not overfill because it will explode all over your air fryer. Use our glue, and here we go. I'm not <laughs> I think you'd help me. I keep you well fed. Okay. All 
And we're just going to keep repeating the process. Billy's here as a day's mom. Oh, hello, Billy. Welcome in. So good to see you. So she can never get them real bright enough. Uh, that's the key. Don't be afraid to make it tight. And um, the glue really helps too. Okay. So we're gonna go side to side. Jello Sortus has got your channel recommended to me. Hello there. Oh, that's awesome. Well, welcome in. I'm gonna do this one in two because I don't know what it did. It exploded. So I'm doubling up the roll. I've never had any roll split on me before, but that's okay. Do you think the Instant Pot is cooler now? Because if it gets cooler, you could move it over there and do both at the same time. Well, it doesn't really matter because both of the recipes we're doing now, I want to do in there. You want to, okay. Because they, um, you can like spread out more egg rolls than a round one. And this thing is, that's the one that grows the steak too. Uh, but we'll get there. Lupola we're doing good on time. We've only been live for an hour and a half. Blue Polo said he's watching a Blue Polo Mom. Hi, Blue Polo and Blue Polo Mom. Oh, I had to put the heat on and fill it. <gasps> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Hey, Blue Polo. That would make me nervous. And cold. And meanwhile, it's I know really the weather was here. pretty good up north these past few days. Now it's colder again, I think. Mm hmm. Carlos was saying the floor was 47. Oh my gosh, Carlos. It's only 86 here though. Only? Only 86. Such a tragedy. And that's the thing too. You gotta get the right balance um, of the tightness because my second egg roll I rolled too tight and it split. And I don't know if that was the egg roll wrapper, if I had a defective egg roll wrapper or if I rolled it too tight. So just Keep an eye on it. So what I did was I just went back and doubled it. There we go. It's 48 in New York and it's been raining for oh three gosh. days. That's so depressing. Richard, can you see? I think I have another one of these in the fridge, in the deli drawer. I'm almost out of pepperoni. Okay. Northeast has been cold. Mickey Bunch is here. Hi, Kelly. Welcome in. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. I'm just going to make a couple more, I think, and then um, we're going to preheat the air fryer. Well, it's already preheated. It says add the food. Now these are not to be confused with Tracy, Glenn, Kenzie Day's dad's pepperoni rolls, which are also quite delicious, but that's a sandwich. Jane Asheville says no sauce in them? No, you use the sauce to dip. Because the sauce would make the um, egg roll wrapper tear um, from sogginess and it would, um, it might make it expand. And I don't know if you all have seen on Nicholas's channel last year, 
It was what, in the summer, I think we did it? We did uh, all the egg rolls. It was, look. I think it was last summer. John Bishop said he's hoping to see all of us when he's here. Nice. I would love that, John. Yes, that John. so awesome. Evan Hooden. Hudden. Hudden? Nice Hi, Evan. Super chat. Oh, thank you, Evan. We didn't have to do that. It was... June 13th, 2020. Well, I said summer. It was close enough. <laughs> it's coming up on... A year. It's coming up. Wow. And here we are, making egg rolls again. Here we are. Lori Hi, Lori. Welcome in. We're making our pepperoni egg rolls. go with this for now and uh, here's what we're going to do. We're going to put them in the air fryer, seam side down, and then we are going to spray them with olive oil. And we are going to cook them for about 10 minutes or so. Bishop said they look like something he could make. Thanks for oh, absolutely. They're so easy. And I'll tell you, they're a real kid pleaser. Just ask Nick. <laughs> it's true. Now, one of them came out looking kind of wonky, but the rest of them look good. The rest of them look like egg rolls. One looks like the chimichangas, but we won't worry about that. Okay. So, that's that. And we'll see how they do. Um, let's see, this pan's good to go, and then I'm going to talk about the steak, because, um, and you know what else I'll do? I'll make more fries. How's that family for Sounds good. So just as a refresher, I'm going to make a second batch of fries. Should we move it over there? The other, yeah, okay. Um, I'm going to save this in case we make more egg rolls later. But, we had our potatoes soaking in ice cold water. We're going to drain them and then we're going to put them in another bowl and season them with, um, spray with olive oil, salt and pepper. I'm going to put a little more olive oil this time, just a little bit. John wants to know how long you put those in for. The egg rolls, it says 20, but I think it's going to take like 10, I think it should be about 10. So, yeah, I just adjusted the time. I think it automatically went to 20. I don't know why. But thank you for telling me that because I adjusted the time. We don't want to burn our egg rolls, do we? Nope. All right. Here we go. We're going to dry our fries again. And I'm going to go preheat the other air fryer to uh, 390. And these took about 20 minutes. So that's what we're going to do. Air fryer. Okay. Carlos said, I'm listening while they finish up the labels. Oh, that's awesome. I can't wait to see what they look like, Carlos. Legos are so much fun. Although, I am not as skilled at it as you are. I do like brick heads and easy ones because I get my patients with them. <laughs> Which do you prefer, Instant Pot, Air Fryer Lid, or the other? I'm sorry? Which do you prefer, air, Instant Pot, Air Fryer Lid, or the other? Ooh. Okay, if I had to choose well, it would be none of the above. I would choose my Ninja because I like the surface area of it being a rectangle so I can fit more food in the area. With the round air fryers, you can fit a lot less food, um, especially like when you're doing the fries because these are going to take a while because I'll have to do them in batches because the basket can't hold that much in the Ninja, uh, in the Instant Pot, I'm sorry. 
Um, but I could do a whole, you saw how many it made in the Ninja, so probably twice I'm as many. Here, but I'll just change my <laughs> I want to be on brown. Okay, so we dry them off really well after we drain them. Oops. And, oops, okay. So now we're going to olive oil, salt, and pepper. Oh, of course, any time meal. Okay. And I put a lot more oil this time. I just thought that would make it um, a little less dry. I thought the potato was just a touch dry. Well, you do a vegetarian cooking stream. Well, actually, our next cooking stream is two weeks from today. And it's not vegan, but we are doing gluten-free. But vegan is on the horizon, and I hope when I do that to have um, Meg from Mickey's Magic do it with me because she is vegan. So that's vegetarian. Vegetarian? We can definitely be vegetarian. Absolutely. And you know you have some of it. love that. Absolutely. You've got it. Okay. There we go. So... We're going to toss this down. And I'm going to go pop these in the air fryer back there. really good solid french fry. Um, if you don't like peeling, you can use Yukon Bowl. You could use red potatoes, but you won't get, I, I've rarely seen a red potato that's big enough to make a fry, so. But yeah. I'm gonna check on the angles. Oh, Nicholas. Hi, let me see. It's time for me to get nice. He's actually meant to be done. I'm going to go one more minute. Nice golden brown. Mm -hmm. Okay. So we've got a minute, guys, and two pepperoni and rolls. Which I think are going to be so good. They're going to be out of this world. I'm going to get dipping sauce ready. Will you a marinara? Yeah. Ooh. It's a Disney baker. Hi. Hi, Disney baker. I think this is probably the yeah. I'm going to call that a day. What do you think? Yeah. I don't know what's enough to use the cutter for the fries. No, I did them by hand, but you definitely can use a um, cutter. That would be fine. In fact, I have a genius slicer. I just, I only did three potatoes, so it didn't take me long to cut them. Okay. Our sauce ready. How long and at what temperature are the egg rolls cooked at? Um, they were cooked for approximately 
uh, I put it on for 10, we took it out with three, so it, it, it took seven minutes at uh, 360. Okay, we're going in. We've got to let these cool a little bit. Darn it. Okay. Last you said you burned yourself. I'm like, uh uh, not happening again. You could probably see on the replay, like, that I was like in pain. It was bad. It was not good. The food was good. Just the temperature was probably like 300 degrees. I'm gonna take a picture. No John. Jennifer wants to know what temperature are the egg rolls cooked at? How long? Okay, so the egg rolls got cooked at 360 degrees for approximately seven to 10 minutes, depending on your air fryer. Mine took seven minutes. I'm gonna turn that off now. Okay. Now. What was I gonna do? Oh, take a picture. Ah. Okay. And guys, don't forget to check out the website. It's completely free. And it has all the recipes to all my shows are on there. Um, so it's almost coming up on a year. It'll be in August, I think, since I started doing this. So, yay. All right. What are you going to do for your, you know what you should do for a one-year stream? Do you have an idea yet? Not yet. You should take your most Take your most liked things that... Like take a vote or something? Mm, not a vote, but look, well maybe a vote, but like, take what I've liked the most, you've liked the most, they've liked the most. Oh, okay. Like, and make take, everyone's favorite thing. Make everyone's favorite thing. I know thing. what I'd make right, right away. I'd have to think about it. I know exactly, because I've been craving Either it. Either those <laughs> fluffernutter things. That was what I was going to pick. Well, then you make them, then I'll pick something. Yeah. Those are those are good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so guys, maybe I'll pick we're the egg rolls. Gonna there. preheat the air fryer grill. Can they see the grill? Um. Now they can. Okay, great. So now what I did was I put the grill insert into our air fryer, um, and it only fits one way. It has a little like cutout thing that fits in, so make sure it fits right. And we're gonna preheat our grill. When you're cooking steak, you wanna do high, and I'm gonna do it for 10 minutes. Um, but you, it has a thermometer to you, this model on the side, where you can test your meat. So if you like it medium rare, medium, however you, like, you can get it done that way. That's really hot, Richard, don't touch that right now. Hi there, Tim Hi, <laughs> Tim. Um, Joe the Force says, our John's wants the keto brownies. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my gosh. Okay, so I've got this set to high for 10 minutes. It's gonna preheat, and preheating the grill takes longer because it has to get to a higher heat. So we're gonna do that, and then I will go over um, what we did. Okay, so here's our steak. I've been marinating this for a couple of hours, and all it is, I'll go get what I did. So simple. Balsamic vinegar, Dijon mustard, salt, pepper, and honey. And you have yourself a wonderful flat iron or any stick of your choosing marinade. And that's what we have here. And we're going to grill them up and we're going to have a honey balsamic flank, uh, not flank steak, flat iron steak um, to enjoy in just a little while. So that'll be yummy. And I'm going to check on our air fryer fries back this way. Let's see what we're doing here. Okay. These are going to need a toss. So get some toss and we'll do the tong toss.
haven't found the dishes. And that's my only complaint, guys, about the instant pot air fryer is when you're making something that requires a lot of surface area, like the fries, like the egg rolls, I would only be able to make like two or three of the egg rolls at a time. By the way, you might want to move out of the shop. They're all looking at him. What? So you might want to move out of the shop. They're all looking at Richie. Richie. <laughs> that's hilarious. But yeah, that's my only complaint. But it's great. It was perfect for like the Brussels sprouts and all that. We're going to see how they do on this batch of fries. Um, I didn't put them in a single layer because the basket is you know, more tall than wide. So we'll see how it goes. But um, what I'm doing is every few minutes, I'm taking the lid off and just uh, stirring and um, distributing, redistributing the fries so that they brown them. Tim Cruz says, our John's needs an apron for dishwashing. <laughs> That's funny. All right. Are you ready for tasting? Yes. Yes, indeed. Can you come on over and take a lie? Our John's is a vision in blue. Mm -hmm. I'm going to put all of these back here in the fridge. I'll just stay back here. Marker's fading. Another one is fading? I thought you got a new one. I, yeah, but it faded. Hold on. We're waiting on Nicholas. Tick tock, tick tock. <laughs> it's so fading. How It's fan. Okay. Three, two, one, boom. I think we all agree. I think we all agree. But see, look at this thing. Yeah, that's weird. I wonder, do you think it's because we put the stuff on it to mm -hmm. clean it? Maybe it's still wet. But yeah. Good. Really good. 
and a very, you know, helpful snack. Um, you know, you get a little bit of carbs from your egg roll wrapper, but the egg roll wrapper is vegan, and I don't know if there's like vegetarian uh, pepperoni or something like that, like Impossible or something. You could use in there and make it. Very What's in there right now? Nothing. It's preheating for the steak. Oh. Oh, hi, Charlie and Stacy. Welcome in. What's in the What's in the marinara? The marinara is just prego. <laughs> From a jar. You can use whatever, um, you know, marinara, pizza sauce, spaghetti sauce. You can make your own. Um, I make my own. Sometimes it's really simple. I take an eight ounce can of tomato sauce. I put Italian seasoning, um, granulated garlic. Um, I put a little pinch of sugar in it, and I put grated Parmesan, and that's my sauce. It's it's really yummy. In fact, Richard, that's what I used on our deep dish pizza last night. It was really good. Okay, so now we're gonna add our food to the grill. Now be careful when you're doing this because it's gonna be really, really hot. They wanna know what does Avery have to do to be a taste tester? <laughs> Come on down. It's pretty simple. Oh, I dropped my towel. What's the steak marinade? Okay, the steak marinade is really simple. Balsamic vinegar, um, honey, Dijon mustard, salt and pepper. Brad from 8-Bit Vacations is here. Hey, Brad. Welcome in. And here's what the steak looks like, guys. And we're going to put it on the grill. Okay. Now one piece is a lot bigger than the second piece, so it might take a little bit longer, but we're going to check them. Oh, awesome, Tammy. You won't regret it. They're so good. In fact, it's time to stir fries. Stir fries. You want me to come over there? No, I'm just, I'm just um, redistributing the fries. Steak marinade, just balsamic vinegar, honey, and Dijon mustard. Um, you could use honey mustard, but I, the recipe called for Dijon. We'll see how we like it. But I think everything we made so far has been a winner. We baked, um, we're grilling, uh, we were frying with our um, French fries. And we made our two The challenges. title says part one. Does this mean there's a part two? I, I, yeah. There's so much to do with an air fryer um, that I thought we'd need a part two down the road for sure. And I wanted people to be able to distinguish between this one and, and the one we do later. So, for sure. So, how's the chat doing? Good. They're all okay. talking amongst themselves. Oh, and that's each great. Other. Perfect. If anyone has any questions, that's a good time to ask. But yeah, we roasted our Brussels sprouts. We fried the fries. Um, we air fried the pepperoni egg rolls. Now we're grilling. Um, so we did quite a bit today. And just a little bit of time. It's, it's just been two hours now. So, yeah. And we'll check our steaks. I think there's one, I had two flat iron steaks and one is much smaller than the other. So I might have to remove the small one first, but that's good because then you guys get to see it and we get to taste it sooner. So. 
Kathy says, can you freeze the egg rolls? Hi, Kathy. Um, I'm not 100% sure. I'm afraid. Well, you know what? They don't have any sauce in them. So I'm going to say try it, but I can't make any promises. I don't know if they would get soggy um, on you. I've not tried to freeze them. Um, but what I would do is maybe like freeze one or two of them so you don't lose a whole batch and see how that goes. Um, and then you'd know for the next time for sure. And then, you know, if you're so inclined to do, you could also deep fry these. But I honestly think this way was absolutely delicious. Yeah. Are there any foods that you don't recommend for the air fryer? Also, any tips you've learned for using the air fryer? Um, anything that's like really um, like a wet food. Um, I wouldn't make anything that, you know, you want to make something that's pretty solid and that won't leak or, you know, spill in there. I would make a mess. So you, I'd stick to like, you know, meats and, and veggies and, and things like that. Um, if you want to do soup stews and sauces, things of that nature, then you get to your instant pot version because that will do all of that and it will air fry as well. So that's why I like having the appliance that I have because it does so many different things. Instead of me having a slow cooker and a sous vide, and a dehydrator and you know a grill i've got one instant pot and it does everything and i don't know why my button on my watch keeps hitting it and talking but i'm sorry <laughs> um mm -hmm. do you use a flat iron do you find flat iron steaks to be tough to cook past rare slash medium rare yes i'm cooking mine to medium to medium well because that's how my family likes them but, um, yeah, you could use any cut of meat. It, this is, you know, you can use, um, what do you call it, flank steak would be good, or a nice, uh, you can even do sirloin. And I really think that that's also what the um, marinade does, it breaks down all the uh, fibers and ten tendons and all that stuff in there and makes it nice and gives it a good texture. And that's what the vinegar does, it breaks it down and makes it tender. And now it says it's time to turn the steak, so we will do that. Okay. So, Nicholas, can they see the steak? They can, yes. Well, I'll bring it right away. We're, we're going to turn, and I'm going to show you the grill marks you get from this grill, which are amazing. They can see now. Look at that. It's just beautiful. All right. I'm going to also go and stir our fries again. They're getting there. And I am going to tell you guys that we had a few fried casual in this bucket, but it is what it is. That's why I like doing it in the um, rectangle one and not in the circular. Because in all honesty, if I was to do the fries in like small batches like I probably should have done in the circular one, I'd probably be doing it for quite a while because you can only fit a little bit in there. So I'm just kind of stirring it in a couple of well, actually, a few of the fries kind of broke, so we'll see what we come up with. Elena says aloha. Aloha, Elena. Aloha. Welcome in. Hey, Good Jason. To see you. Jason. Jason, I hear you might be coming down soon again. We must see you. It got cloudy. It, guys, outside, it we, got, like, we when we a... got here, it was really sunny. And now it looks like we have, a, we have a severe thunderstorm warning. Oh, well, in that case, please stay tuned if we lose power. <laughs> and I'll give you guys another tip, too. It's very important once you um, grill the meat uh, to let it rest and let the juices of the meat, whatever you're cooking, chicken, pork, uh, beef, lamb, 
Uh, you're going to let the juices redistribute because if you take it off of the grill and you cut into it right away, all the goodness, all the moisture and juices are going to come right out of that steak and just lose everything. What's the name of that air fryer? The name of it? It is a Ninja Foodie air fryer grill combination and it's the XL model, which is extra large. Um, Let me see if I can find it. I can link that on Amazon. Yeah. Smells good. What do you say? What Ninja? Ninja Foodie Air Fryer Grill XL. Air Fryer Grill. Ninja 5G FG 5 in 1 Foodie Smart XL 6 in 1 Indoor Grill with 4 quart air fryer. No, this one's an 8 quart. It looks the same because the one I had before this one, it was exactly the same, except it was smaller. That's the only difference. And I needed to have more capacity, like I said, for my fries eight, and that's things an eight like quart? that. Eight quart. Yep. Have you seen Corella? Not yet. We will see you, you guys, soon. You guys gotta watch it. It's good. I've heard it's good. It's very good. They did a very good job of it. I Ninja. We have a minute and 15 seconds on the steaks, guys. We'll take them out. We'll let them rest. And then we will taste them after they rest. Is it an eight in one? Uh, Hold on. This? Maybe it's this. Let me see. That's not it. No, I can bring it up for you because I got mine on air fryer. Here. I got mine on QVC. I got it. Did you? I'm on the page. It's an eight quart. It's this one you just sent? Mm-hmm. Now watch what I'm gonna do. Oh, and we're almost ready to take these. I'm gonna put it in the chat. Woo! Oh wow, they look great. Your comments too long. Okay, we are gonna let these sit and um, rest for a little bit before we cut into them. So I'm gonna put a timer on so we know. Okay. Charlie wants to know the marinade you use. Oh, okay. So Charlie, oh my gosh, it's a great marinade. It's balsamic vinegar, honey, Dijon mustard, salt, and pepper. Simple, but I, it smells delicious. I think it's going to be really, really, really good. I'm going to check these fries over here, Nicholas. All right. Yep, they're going to be done when it says. Two more minutes and those fries will be done. And so just to recap, guys, we have made uh, cherry cheesecake chimichangas. We have made uh, pepperoni egg rolls. We made um, bacon balsamic Brussels sprouts. We made um, French fries. And we made the um, balsamic honey marinated uh, flat iron steak. So we're doing good, yeah? It's only been a little over two hours and look at all the stuff we made in our air fryer. Everything was made in the air fryer. I'm so happy we didn't have to turn the oven on. That's the other thing. You know, when it's hot, especially here in Florida, you don't want to be turning your oven on and heating up the whole house. The air fryer can do it. And like I said, they come in from one quart 
If you're a single person, to a 16 quart if you have a whole crowd to feed. So based on what your needs are, there is an air fryer for you and I highly recommend it. Oh, and I forgot we also toasted a bagel. That's right. So we did six things. Okay, these fries are almost done. You want me to swivel them over there? Um, we can, yeah, you want to take them for a walk? Or I can just bring them out. Are you going to bring them over here? I can just bring them over here. I'm going to put this over here so I don't burn myself. Because it's hot. The lid is hot. Hot, hot. Um, yeah. I need my glove. Oh, my gloves right back there. Thank you. So I'm going to put my gloves on so we don't hurt anybody. So there are our fries, and you can see there's a few of them that kind of got a little bit mush, but that's okay. They're still going to taste good, and um, like I said, so you don't get the surface area that you do in the mm -hmm. big rectangle one. So I'm going to take these out of here, and put them on a plate or something. I don't know if you guys have ever had this happen on one of your paper plates, but like the ink didn't come out right, oh. so it looks really weird. Okay. Oops, we got a few stragglers there. I just want to stay in there. I know. Well, that's what I mean. See, they stuck kind of to the bottom, and it was hard to distribute them when they wouldn't. And if I was to put them in a single layer, this would have taken like five batches because it's so small. See how small this is mm -hmm. compared to the big grill over there? And these are both eight-quart air fryers, see? Now, if the basket was this big, that would be really great, but it's not. So. But we've got lots of fries now. They do look pretty, though. Okay. I'm going to put these here for now. I'm going to let them cool. And then we've got about five minutes or so we can cut into the steak. Six in that one? Yep, six right here. Oh. Is it done? It's done. It's just resting. Uh oh. Yep. Eric Herger said we hope to move down here next year. Avery offers the taste testing service. Oh, yay, Avery! Avery and I need to make tacos. <laughs> I know he loves tacos. Should I see if those fries taste better or worse? And they're probably, do you think yeah, they're, they're really super hot though, so be careful. I'm warning you, consider yourself warm. All right. Jason Nam said he's coming over for dinner. Anytime, Jason. I'm watching for Nick's reaction. <laughs> It's about the same. Yeah, they're the same. It's just some of them got, like I said, There's a little There's a few bit, in there that are a little crispier. Yeah, because they weren't as evenly distributed because the basket was smaller. So um, good. But that is another point to make sure you get an air fryer that's big enough for your needs. Because obviously that wasn't big enough for that. Wait, that's me now. Yep. Mmm. Thank you. They're good. They're really good. Mm -hmm. Not much of a difference. I, I really don't. The only thing, like I said, is they were too crowded in the pan. The way they weren't. Them. They weren't physical distancing. If I wasn't doing a show, I would have probably done a batch every twenty minutes. But it would have taken me like well over an hour to do them all. So I didn't want you guys hanging. You know, I. The fries years. weren't maintaining physical distance. <laughs> That's right. They were not social distancing. Is Jake here? Who? Is Jake. Oh, hi, Dis Jake. Welcome in. Mm. I'm sorry, my hearing is really bad, you guys. I'm actually, this is like, no joke. I am 80% deaf in my left ear. So if I don't hear, um, I, I hardly ever hear them. <laughs> so bad. C-H. 
That would be Richard. He has dishwashing duty. Thank you so much. Oh, another one. I would love to see you do a condiment making show. Kind of like recreate. I love it. Recreating chicken guys sauces. Now that is an excellent idea and it's in my wheelhouse because I used to enter jams, jellies, mustards, all kinds of stuff in the Alaska State Fair and I've won blue ribbons and my mustard, my honey mustard homemade, won grand champion um, out of all the preserves and jellies and everything. I was so like stunned. It was great. Oh, and five dollars from CH, a tip for R. Johns because he has to do the dishes. <laughs> Thank you, CH. You're so kind. Jeffrey Pop. Hi, Jeffrey Pop. Welcome in. Great to see you. It's so nice to see all of you. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you so much. We're almost ready to try the steak. It's going to be great. Three minutes. And we have egg rolls left. We have fries left. Oh, that's good. Cool. The best part of this one, of this show, is now we have dinner. <laughs> so when we're done with the stream, we'll, we'll have dinner. With the leftovers. This is great. And yeah, I highly recommend uh, if you get an air fryer, if you have an air fryer, get one of these uh, spray bottles for your olive oil or oil of choice. Like I said, you can use canola, safflower, avocado, grapeseed, whatever your uh, preference is. CH sent another $5 to the chat. <laughs> Mustard is God's condiment because it has no calories. That's right. I'm through that. I'm all for that. <laughs> Okay, it looks like it has a minute, but I'm gonna clear it. What's in the oven? Nothing, that was a timer for the meat to Oh. Rest. <laughs> I was gonna say, I didn't think you put anything in the oven. I'm gonna get a knife. We're gonna get some forks. Oh, I don't know what that is. Do you eat steak? No, 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 no. Okay, I'm good so for Richard me. and I will taste test this one. You coming, Richie? And got a super chat Tasha Rogers in a 9.99 super Tasha. chat. Is there anything this amazing woman cannot do? You're such a blessing, Donna, and love to hear and see all your gifts and talents. Aww. Thanks for sharing. Tasha, thank you. You are such a wonderful person. You and Sean. If you I need to move those eggs, so I'll happily take them. There you go. Thank you. Thank you, Tasha and Sean. You guys are amazing. I love you. Are these the plates we had to carry Thank out of Disney you. Springs? Yes. Oh, okay. Good, good so memories. Now, I'm gonna cut each. the steak on a bias. <laughs> I remember that having them all one didn't be <laughs> big. <laughs> I'm trying to do it neatly. I probably should have another plate. Can you get another plate? They're right behind us, I think. There's should be a pile of them. I want to have the egg rolls okay. out there. We can just taste this, right? Mm -hmm. okay. Three, two, one. It's a clean fork. Yeah, well, I brought, I brought these also. Mmm. That's yummy. I don't think it's tough at all. It's not. I think, I really think the balsamic vinegar helps to break down the meat. So it's not, because like you said, someone said in the chat, the flat iron steak is usually a tough cut of meat. This is really, really, oh, <laughs> really good. Mm-hmm. Super yummy. Yeah, mine looks weird, but that's okay. Three, two, one. I gave it a hundred plus plus. <laughs> What'd you give it? Mm-hmm. 
it was super good. And I think, like I said, that marinade does its job. And that's why you need to let it uh, marinate for at least, I would do an hour or more, even overnight, because it breaks down all the toughness of the meat and gets it nice and tender and juicy. Um, and I think this was a huge success. All right, so now, come on, kitchen crew. We're gonna close out, but I wanna know, Nicholas, out of everything I made today, what was your favorite? Egg rolls. Okay. Richard? Steak. Steak. <laughs> and for me, I'm gonna go with the uh, chimichangas, the cheesecake. That was so They're good. getting the love over there. Really good. They're gonna get love later for dessert, for sure. <laughs> All right. So guys, look at this. It's not even two and a half hours and we made, we did that, it. That means my shift ends early. <laughs> Again. <laughs> Again. I'm getting better at this. <laughs> but um, we made so many things. We made uh, the bagel. We started with the bagel. Then we made the chimichangas. We made pizza, egg rolls. We made um, french fries. We made Brussels sprouts. And we made the steak. So we did six things in the air fryer today in two and a half, less than two and a half hours. Because we did mail at the beginning too. So. I think we're doing good. And I think everything was a huge success. I mean, I, there was nothing in there that I think, you know, not like the blue milk we made where I was like, uh, no, not again. I would make any of these again. What do you guys think? Except the Brussels sprouts for you. More egg rolls. More egg rolls. He says more egg rolls are on, on tap. Okay. So yeah, so I think we did great. So I want to thank all of you for joining us. And uh, to everyone who super chatted uh, and became a member today, thank you so much. I appreciate it with all my heart. Thank you. And I want everyone to have a very happy and safe Memorial Day. Thank you again to all of our servicemen and women for all you sacrificed for our freedom and for us to live in this great country that we have. So thank you. And until next time, in two weeks, it's June 13th the week before Father's Day, and we will be doing gluten-free cooking. It's gonna be delicious, so join us then. Don't believe us after dishes. <laughs> and until then, we will see you next time. Bye, guys. Bye. Mahalo. Mahalo. Mahalo.